Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. There's a reason I'm uh, whispering. I don't know why I'm whispering, really. But I'm trying to be maybe sneaky because uh, look what happened last night. Oh, looky there, first look. That's what happened last night. <laughs> First baby of 2021. And guess who it was? Kit. That's who I thought was going to have their baby. So this is the Big Joe herd. You got Kit and you got Flo. And of course Big Joe. Kit, Flo, and Big Joe. Hey, I like that. And now a new member. So Kit, she's always been a little feisty, but... So she's on extra feisty right now, protecting that baby. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. See, her up there, putting herself between me and that calf. That is so awesome. Doing what she's supposed to be doing. There you go. I'm not gonna be in front of the screen, which some of you may appreciate that, but I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit and let you watch. Calf is doing good. So last night, yesterday I was over here doing some stuff and I saw some um, fluid coming out of her yesterday afternoon. I knew that she was close. Signs were pointing that she was very close. Kevin came home yesterday evening about 8 30 and the calf was on the ground i think he just missed it she had just had her little calf what was really interesting is big joe big joe actually was eating the afterbirth very different i don't know if that's a thing or if that's very normal but no, I've never seen that before. Some of you may have seen it, but the calf could barely get up. I mean, that's how Kevin just missed it. Kevin thinks it's a heifer, and I'm getting some looks here that it could be a heifer as well, which is great to have a big Joe heifer. And this cow, Kit, she's so pretty, I think. She's black, and she's got a pretty head, so it'd be nice to have another little Kit. Should be feeling good now. I'm not gonna get too close or anything. Big Joe destroyed this bale of hay out here the other day. Oh, there goes the hay bale. Hey, dude. You're in a... <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Big Joe has been very protective of Kit and the calf since it's been born. You guys leave me a comment below if you've ever heard of uh, a bison bull eating the afterbirth from one of its own calves out here. I'm not sure. I was talking to Kevin. I don't, I don't know. 
if it's because it's in a small herd. Um, but he's always been with these two females, Kit and Flo, and um, I don't know if he's always done that or not, but I think it's very interesting. Does this happen in Yellowstone and, and a lot of those big national parks? I'm not sure. You know, when you get those big herds where you get a bull with lots of females, I don't know if this even happens. I got these animals, I think, in September, October, and the, the j previous owner told me that they typically have them in May. Here we are, May, and we've got a, our calf. This is the earliest one we've ever had born on the Cross Timbers Ranch, so it's very exciting to have your first one here. And it's plus it's Big Joe's, so it's our first Big Joe baby. By the looks of it's a heifer, so that's exciting. The big herd, I don't know who's next. That's the next question, as I, I don't know who will be next. I was thinking maybe Flo would be next because they typically had theirs in May. I don't know, we'll see, but this is super exciting and fun. I'm keeping my distance because Kit already is a little bit spicy and then she's gonna be a little bit extra protective here um, with this calf, which is great, so everybody else is doing good. Kevin did tell me that, dang it, I wish I could have seen it. I'm gonna try to catch a a live birth bison birth i do want to catch that someday but it's all about good timing obviously because it seems like most of the time they have them at night you just got to catch their signs early if you want to if i want to be able to do that but i think that would be amazing so uh don't hold me to that but i will i'm gonna try to get a live birth um the the tough part is you're dealing with this animal and when they they've got a calf you can see this protection or they're in labor you don't want to get too close to these animals but he did tell me that once the calf was down and and he uh was here to witness this but he said the big herd was all hyped up and jumping around the bulls were hyped up the yearlings were hyped up it was like a a, a big celebration is what it sounded like according to kevin i wish i could have seen that but i was already home hanging out with brooks and marissa so he said something about the smell maybe of the afterbirth and all that that the all the bison could smell it and that's just a very unique smell that only happens you know so many times a year and uh it just got everybody hyped up and i think that's so cool and i wish i could have seen it and so maybe i'll catch it sometime and and get it for you so but anyways thank you guys for watching uh exciting right here i've been talking about for a long time first red dog is right here out of big joe's herd our first red dog of 2021 so this is the moment that you just get so excited and it's just a good feeling inside when you have your first red dog because this is why we do this all the work all everything that goes into it is because of right here because you get to see that baby right there and uh it makes makes the biggest difference in the world this is your motivation right here for, to work and go through all the effort and time and money for these animals is, uh, is that right there because it's just special to have that red dog out here so anyways thank you guys for following thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to us and i'll show you more of these guys thank you dude getting some frustration out such a stud